One time Jacques Levy and I were writing songs and he asked me, is there anything you long for? Any place you'd like to go back to, anywhere in the world, any time that you could think of? And I thought for a minute, and then I thought about the Gate of Horn Folk Club in Chicago. And if I had a chance to go back there, I would love to, because it was such a cool place. I'd had Albert Grossman and Alan Rebeck running the place, and they were cool, and Bob Gibson was in there. I remember Peter Yarrow before, Peter, Paul, and Mary, and Judy Collins, and uh, all kinds of wonderful singers, the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem. And it was just great. I used to, to love to kind of sneak in, because I was a kid. I had a fake ID. I was 17 years old, and they would let me in there. So Jacques and I sat down and wrote a song on it. And uh, the song has got a lick in it that's based on something that Bob Gibson used to do called Abilene. Because Abilene, Abilene, prettiest town I've ever seen. Women there don't treat you mean in Abilene. So I kind of based the uh, first part of this on that. I'm going to the gate of home in my memory. Red light flickering on a tablecloth, big dark beer in front of me. How I wish that I was there, standing at the bar and listening to Bob Gibson play. On his fine guitar. He had a big old 12 string and it sounded something like this. Now, there was a middle part of this, and some of the people that used to hang out there were Judy and Peter and Josh and O'Dare, the Clancy's and Mary and Paul made it better. Grossman and Tommy and Dickie and Lou, when no one was looking, McGuinn was there too. But the gate of home meant everything to me. Yeah, the 